How do we measure the impact of a film? Some measure it by its box office, but for me, the true impact of a film can be as simple as a memorable line or a searing performance. Over the decades, so many actors in supporting roles gave us moments we will never forget. I am in awe of Louis Gossett Jr.'s Sergeant Foley in An Officer and a Gentleman. Joel Gray's playfully menacing Willkommen in Cabaret. Denzel's heartbreaking performance in Glory. The five men nominated this year as Best Supporting Actor have all made a significant impact with vivid moments that will linger for many years to come. Hello, neighbor. So good to see you again today. Don't you understand? You were almost elected pope. If you resign, it will look like a criticism. Big business and the government are trying to sow the seeds of dissent among our ranks at a time when we need unity. We need solidarity. When I ask somebody to take care of something for me, I expect them to take care of it themselves. I don't need two roads coming back to me. You know, that's not my car. That's my boss's car. And if something were to happen to my boss's car, well, I'd get in trouble. You say you no longer wish to be Cardinal Archbishop. I ask you, are you sure you still wish to be a priest? I had to put you into this thing, or you would never let it happen. But it's gonna happen. You don't consider yourself famous? Fame is a four-letter word, but ultimately matters is what we do with it. Oh, whoa. You might be demonstrating a failure to show appreciation. I'm not showing appreciation. I went to school for five years. I didn't name one name. You did the right thing. I asked him to pray for me. I figure anyone who is going through what he is going through must be awfully close to God. Hey, I'm not gonna die. It's not my time yet, man. You are not God. You're only human. Here are the nominees for performance by an actor in a supporting role. Tom Hanks, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Anthony Hopkins, The Two Popes. Al Pacino, The Irishman. Joe Pesci, The Irishman. Brad Pitt, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And the Oscar goes to Brad Pitt. Once upon a time. This is the second Oscar for Brad Pitt, his first for acting. Thank you. This is incredible. Really incredible. Thank you to the Academy for this honor of honors. They told me I only have 45 seconds up here, which is 45 seconds more than the Senate gave John Bolton this week. I'm thinking maybe Quentin does a movie about it, and in the end, the adults do the right thing. This really is about Quentin Jerome Tarantino. You are original, you are one of a kind. Uh, uh, the, the film industry would be a much drier place without you. And I, and I love the ethos you gave Cliff Booth. Look for the best in people. Expect the worst, but look for the best. Leo, I'll ride on your coattails any day, man. <laughs> the view's fantastic. And to the rest of the cast and crew, uh, Big Bad Bob Richardson, um, Robert Garcia, Richie, uh, my man, Mike Moe. Hey, you know, I, I also want to say, you know, while we're doing all this, I think it's time we, we give a little love to 
our stunt coordinators and our, our stunt <laughs> crews. Listen, I'm a big gobsmacked. I'm not, I'm not one to look back, but this has made me do so. And I, I think of my folks taking me to the drive-in to see Butch and Sundance and loading up my car and moving out here and Gina and Ridley giving me my first shot to all the wonderful people I've met along the way to stand here now. Once upon a time in Hollywood, I think that's the truth. <laughs> this is for my kids who color everything I do. I adore you. Thank you. Coming up, Mindy Kaling, Keanu Reeves, Diane Keaton, plus a once-in-a-lifetime global performance from Frozen 2 by Adina Menzel. Here at the Dolby Theater at Hollywood and Highland, it's the Oscars. The Oscars on ABC, brought to you by Cadillac. Others.